What we have today is a loin and flank of specially selected pork. You've got the pork loin piece here with the eye muscle, and this is the pork belly, both sides of it there. And what we've done is, I've sawed down the rib bones, leaving the ribs slightly longer, because what we want to do is have a rack of pork, and we're going to demonstrate how we can do some pork tomahawks as well. So I have sawed through the bone, careful not to saw through any meat, and I'm just going to remove the belly, which we can obviously use for a nice roast or other things later on. So the next thing we want to do is remove the chine and feather bones, and to do that I'm going to take my saw and just cut down here, careful not to go through any meat. And all I'll do is take my boning knife and come down as close to the feather bone as possible and remove it. Now, if we're going to do this as a roast, you can always set it back on the feather bone to get maximum flavour. But removing that makes it far easier to carve into individual chops or however you would like because all you have now to contend with are the individual rib bones. So to do a roast we're going to French trim this rack and we're going to leave the skin on the back of the loin to give maximum flavour and protection to this lean muscle that we have. So to French trim I'm going to mark on either side just above the eye muscle down to the bone and the same here. And then this line here should all be directly above the loin. And I can then come down and expose the ribs. Now this belly piece we could utilise later on for something else. So now to French trim. We want to make sure we're going to get as much meat as possible off these bones. The meat that we're taking off the ribs, we can utilise as well. There's nothing wrong with that going into production. With them being connected to the ribs, you get a lovely, lovely flavour off them. We'll keep them to one side. And then we want to go about scraping down these bones to really get them nice and tidy. There's various bone scrapers and things you can use to, to maximise this. It really is all about the presentation and how it will look to the diner. While I'm here, there's a little bone dust as well from where I used my saw before. Very important we get rid of that. One or two little fragments in there to come away. And that's really just the result of trying to stay close to the bone before. And that'll go into waste. <clears throat> so now we have the rack. We've left the skin on the back, so what we're going to do is just score the skin in such a way that it allows to cut some really nice chops. When carving this roast, 
there's two options. One is to cut down in between each bone to give a nice thick chop. The other option is to fleece down the back of the bone all the way around, giving you nothing but meat and crackling to then cut through into slices however thick you like. We're going to prepare it in such a way that you can do it either way. So I'm going to score the same way that this would be cut. Scoring it in the same direction as you would cut a portion obviously makes it far easier to give a piece of crackling to the customer attached to their meat. So I am scoring this quite heavily but I'm not scoring it in such a way that we're damaging any meat at all and we're cutting into very little of the fat. And that there would be a French trimmed rack of pork. What we are going to do from this now is demonstrate how we can get you a couple of tomahawk chops from it. And all I'm going to do is remove two chops. We'll take two from the middle for this purpose. Now, as this is just now, that would be a lovely chop. If you want to leave the skin on, you can cut down the fat and the skin in such a way that it'll roast out very, very nicely indeed. What we're going to do is take the boning knife and come down the back of the seam so that all we're left with is the eye muscle and the rib bone. The eye muscle, of course, is the piece that the customer is mainly concerned about. What you can always do is cook it with the skin on and then remove it to serve. So there we have specially selected pork tomahawk steaks and rack of pork French trimmed.